Hello, I'm Kenji Freitas. I'm a senior information technology student from Fayetteville, North Carolina, and I'm also the treasurer and, and set master for the IOTA Zeta chapter of Cap Kappa Psi. Good morning. Um, the time is now around 9.45. Uh, I have I'm supposed to have t three classes today, but one of them is canceled, so that's great. Uh, I usually would get up around 9 o'clock and get some work done, but last night I was fortunate enough to go to the library and finish a lot of my work, and so I was able to reward myself with an extra... 45 minutes of sleep. Awesome. And so I'm about to go get ready and I'll see y'all again. Uh, why did you choose AT? I chose AT because really I was introduced to AT my sixth grade year of middle school uh, my sixth grade year mainly because my brother was he was looking to get into college and he started looking at A&T and he's four years older than me so by the time I hit my freshman year of high school he was hitting his freshman year of college and he ended up coming here to A&T and so growing up that's really the only school that I ended up watching just because my brother also marched in the band and so I kind of wanted to follow in his footsteps, but also I didn't just follow him, but I looked at the technology program that North Carolina a and had, and I was very interested in it. And then I also really wanted to march here for myself. Um, so uh, everything's ready now. Um, walking to my first class. It's my 11 o'clock class. It's a... The class is web systems, so we pretty much learn about coding web pages as a whole, including the database systems and also just the regular HTML along with it. And so, what is a typical day like for you? A typical day, I tend to have a lot on my plate, but I've also had to plan out a lot of the stuff that I've done, mainly because I wa wanted to make sure that I would never get overwhelmed. But throughout the day, I, end up, I wake up early, I go to class, in between class, I do my schoolwork. In class, I do my schoolwork as well, because you have to get it where you can. And then in the middle of the day somewhere, I find something to eat. And then I'm also probably reading something. And then I come to practice. Okay. How is it as an information technology major? The information technology program is one of a kind of a and I would say, mainly because a lot of the classes are focused in one, in a direction. And I mean, it's very helpful for the students and it also helps the students learn a wide variety of material while also having a direction for the students. So I'm done with my 11 o'clock. It is around like 12.07, so I came back home. And now I'm about to head to the barbershop because tomorrow is game day as the Aggie Eagle Classic. And we always have to have a fresh haircut. So it's so one thing that I enjoy doing but yeah, so I'm headed there now and see y'all later. All right, as you said, your older brother is a member of Cold Steel. Did you feel or do you feel any pressure following in his footsteps? I would say I thought I was going to feel pressure before I came to ANT, but one thing that happened when I came here as a freshman was everybody would call me, my brother's name is Alika, and so everybody would call me Lil Alika. Uh, and so that was, that was always a thing that I was kind of known as, but as time went on throughout the year, 
they just stopped doing that. And they started to realize that calling me by my brother's name wasn't phasing me at all. And it wasn't, it didn't help me nor hurt me. And so they started to realize and they tried, they made sure that whatever I did was because of me. Like, so if I tried to make a decision, they would say, like, are you sure? And I'd be like, yes, because it was my decision. So we finished lunch. Now we're back on campus. We're headed, I'm headed to my math class. And this is statistics. It's a fairly easy class. Most of the, most of the, class, most of the material is just formulas and whatnot. But, I'm sorry, I'm really not good on camera. And this is really awkward for me to just hold a camera and talk while I'm walking through people. But, How has Harvey yeah. Thompson and Bios impacted you and your plan? And if it wasn't for Harvey, I don't know really how my plan would be because I started drumming when I was really little. Like I started taking private lessons when I was in kindergarten. And so that helped me with reading and helped me with the fundamentals of drumming. But as time went on, there wasn't really much on the percussion aspect that was really challenging and helping me progress in a, in a way that in to the direction that I am now. But so when my brother came here, my brother had a good relationship with Harvey. And so he would, my brother would also help me, let me tag along. And so I got to meet Harvey. And so I watched his videos throughout high school. I would watch Harvey's videos and try to mimic what he was doing. And as along with everything that A&T was playing, and because that was the only thing that I was watching. And so, but Harvey would also message me on the side and say, hey, I have this piece of music. And then he'll also send me a video with it. And so with that video and the music, it helped me get better at marching percussion and really learning how to read more advanced music. And it also, like it really helped me into playing and I can't even really describe it. Like it, it, how much he's helped me and how much he's been like a role model for me, I can't really explain. So he just finished math class. Now I gotta hurry home because I have a meeting at the man room at 420 and it is currently 350. And so I have all that time to change and head over to the band room. But this is our, this is pretty much my day so far. Captain is a sophomore and captain with the basic line. How did those years differ? So here at a and when you come in as a freshman, like you, you just try to do whatever you're told. And so we're back at the band room, the number one place on earth. Because that's just the right thing to do. You're coming into a brand new program. You don't know what's right and what's wrong unless somebody really tells you something's right or wrong. And so you really don't get to observe as much as you want and you get to learn the inner workings of the percussion line because you're just trying to make sure that you're doing everything you can to stay right. And so as a section leader from my sophomore year, I had to learn multiple roles at the same time. So I had to learn what the line, how the line functioned at, from like the administrative aspect and also the communication between the higher leadership and the staff members. And then I also had to learn how the percussion line as a unit also gelled together, mainly because the percussion line isn't always under 24 hour supervision of the staff. And so the percussion line has to be able to run on its own. And so as a sophomore, I really had to learn how to or really even what to do in certain situations. And so between my sophomore year and my junior year, 
my sophomore year was really it was a really big learning year like I learned a lot of what to do what not to do what to do when and what not to do when and so my junior year it helped a lot more having that previous year of experience and my junior year I would say that I really was able to take a, more ownership of what I was doing mainly because I was more confident in a lot of my decisions. nationality but do not know. How does your heritage play a role in the person that you are today? So my nationality is I am Hawaiian, Japanese, Portuguese, Filipino, and Chinese. That's it. The behind the scenes of the day in the life. You I can't even see well, it in well, You can't even see it. Yeah, I know that's a lot, but that's it. Uh, but as far as how my heritage has formed me, my, a lot of my, like, so the Pacific Islander heritage is very heavy on family. Very, very heavy on family and respect. And so coming in to the BGMM family, everything's like based around family the uh, whole percussion line is a family and so getting into that aspect it was easier and i was able to understand a lot of why we had to do certain things that we had to do as far as just everybody sticking together all at all times mainly because we're a big family but as far as for me i learned from my family that it doesn't matter really how you are or how somebody else is, but it's more so how much you can pull out of somebody else from not just pulling, but also giving and putting in. Like it's a lot of how much I give you that'll help you be who you are. And so the whole give and take situation, it's not really I don't really do much. I don't really like to focus on the take, but more so the giving. Now that you're no longer in leadership, how has your role changed? My role, I feel, it was different because going, coming from a freshman as to where I don't say anything, I just follow the rules, and then come, going straight up into leadership, to where I, ha I had to say everything, I had to fix everything as soon as possible. And then I had to do two years of leadership. And then as my last year, my fourth year, what, what has been a habit is just speaking and fixing and leading. And so as my fourth year in the band and not being in leadership, I had to learn how to fall back and just be the example person. Like I had to learn that everything, I, I had to, I knew that my section leaders now knew what they were doing. It's just I, as a section leader, you weren't able to catch everything 24 seven. And so now when the section leaders are focusing on something, I tend to see something else, but I have to learn that it's not always gonna be right of me to say something right then and there but more so have it fixed later and so i had to learn how to step back let others take their role and then just trust in others because i did my part and my part is now to just be an example
how do you balance your brain and everything else? Balancing is all about time management. Uh, as of my senior year, I am able to not have a hectic senior year, like, be, mainly because my past three years have been very hectic. So almost every semester I've taken 16 to 17 to 18 credit hours. Uh, last semester I ended up taking 20 credit hours as along with taking a summer class. And so everything was just about time management. School, you just have to get it done. I always relate it to food. You're gonna find something to eat no matter what your situation is. And so you gotta find your time to get your schoolwork done. And then band is next. And for me, it wasn't really hard because pretty much band is like what I do. And so it wasn't, I never saw a band as something to do. It's just what I do. And then everything else just fits in between. My, as far as my legacy, I really hope that I have instilled in the people that have come through the band program that it's okay that people say that you're all that, you're all that because people tend to say that to me. But one thing that I want people to realize is that I don't really that's not really what I do what I do for. I don't do I don't try to be perfect or I don't try to be the number one person just to be the number one person. But I want I try to be the that example person mainly because I want the people around me to be the example people. I, I want I want it to be so that those that are following end up being the ones that are leading. And so anything that I really do is not just because I want that shine. Like I would rather someone else take that shine mainly because if I see you take that shine, then I know that I've done something good for somebody else, for somebody else to be better. And so like one of this quote that I had a really influential person say to me was that if you ask somebody how successful you are, you the answer is how many people have you affected in a positive way and then that will determine your success. <laughs> 